My partnership with Flex Academies is to provide dance instruction and or dance teachers in after school programs. So SEJ Body Music offers stepping, which is a percussive dance form, hip hop, ballet, jazz, even some break dancing, and also cheerleading and gymnastics. So with Flex, I've had the opportunity to either teach step myself or have instructors come in to teach hip hop and even a little bit of jazz sometimes. So you have actually been on the ground to kind of work with these kids, but let's talk uh, briefly about uh, kind of the 40,000 foot view as the owner of a company. Talk to us about what Flex has been able to do for your company in terms of expanding it. Well, as the owner of SEJ Body Music, it's great to have partnerships with organizations and companies like Flex because they have more of a purview of what's needed in the area. And I'm personally not from the DMV, I'm from Houston, Texas, but I've been living here for six years. And I knew that I wanted to be able to teach dance to students, but I didn't necessarily know how to get to them. So I actually saw a flyer for Flex at Joy of Motion Dance uh, Company, uh, Dance mm -hmm. Studio, and I sent a message and we've kind of had a relationship since then. So it's been great to be able to work with Flex who can then give us a relationship with the schools, especially to reach students of different ages, because we've had the opportunity to work with pre-K all the way up into eighth grade. We almost had an opportunity to work with high schoolers, yeah. which is my favorite group. <laughs> so We'll get you there. But you know, high school is just a harder area for after school. They just don't usually do as much after school because they don't need necessarily the care. Right. They need to have their uh, extracurricular activities that they can participate in. Well, so let's talk about it from an instructor standpoint. So take off your owner hat and talk about as an instructor, when you arrive and, and you're going to a flex school, we, we pride ourselves on the fact that that you are there to instruct and you do not have to necessarily handle rosters and behavior and things like that. So can you talk about that? I would say the best part of working with Flex is from the instructor point of view because structure is everything. And I have worked in several different programs with several different types of students and several different types of companies. And Flex has it so that when you arrive, you literally only have to do the job as a, of, of instructor. So I appreciate that there's always someone on site. If you have any questions, there's someone there for you to be able to talk to. There's someone there who has a relationship with the students and or their parents. So you don't have to figure out where's this person? Is this person supposed to go to this place after school? Because when you're working with young kids, you have to know where they're supposed to go and who they're supposed to be with just because of the liabilities. So it's uh, it's a load off when you can literally just come in and only have to worry about your dance instruction. And I have seen the amazing job you guys do, but talk to me about really why, what, what makes you guys different and so good? Can you, can you describe that? I think one of the things that makes uh, SEJ, SEJ Body Music instructors good at what they do is because we believe that dance is a disciplined form. So it's not just something that you get to come in and just wiggle to, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that you're not only learning technique, but you're learning discipline because discipline is something that you can carry through any part of your life. We want people to, we want students to understand hard work and we want them to see how it pays off. So while we're in class, sure, we'll have some fun and we'll play some music that you like, but we're going to take the time out to say, point your toes. We're going to take the time out to say, now is not a time to be talking. We set our consequences up front to let them know and consequences are always just going to be physical things that you have to do in dance anyway. You might have to do some push-ups. You might have to do some squats. You might have to do things like that because it's making your body ready for what you're doing. And we always explain those things to children. We want to make sure that we're not living in a do as I say, not as I do kind of area. So we fully participate while we're teaching. And we make sure that we're explaining every single thing to the students so they understand why things are happening. So we try to have a great relationship with them so that they understand, yes, we're the adult, we're the instructor, but anything that we're asking you to do has a purpose. And so I think the students respect that we respect them and we're just not coming in with an ego of being, I'm the teacher, do what I say, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, that's exactly why you guys are, are one of our partners because of that. We get great feedback from parents. Talk to me about the feedback that you get from the kids? Oh, well, the kids are always excited. They always wanna know, when you're coming back, when are we gonna do this again? I think it's usually a shock up front because sometimes when you're in an uh, after school activity, you don't know exactly what the expectation is. Is it going to be more of a babysitting kind of workshop where people don't really care if anyone learns anything? 
or is it going to be that parents or even students expect to learn a skill? So sometimes we might have a mixture of that. So when we get serious and when it's time to work, you know, some of the kids are like, oh, I don't want to do it or mm -hmm. this or that. But once we're able to pull it out of them, watching them grow and even having them be excited and come in and say, Miss Shannon, look what I showed my mom last night or look at this video and look at this. And parents come in and tell us, oh, they've been dancing all night or all, all day. So those are the kind of things that we want to hear, especially when there's a student who wasn't too excited at first because maybe this wasn't the class they wanted to be in, but their parents wanted them to try it anyway. And watching them grow and even having them be able to say, I like this class now, or I like dancing, or are you guys coming back next time? Those are always great reviews to have from students. We got a unique opportunity to work with the Nationals, Washington Nationals Dream Foundation. Um, and I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about that, what you saw um, and what you experienced as an instructor uh, in that classroom. I think one of the best things about the DMV area is there are so many programs for students. Again, me being from Houston, I haven't lived there in my adult life. I left Houston right after high school. So for all I know, they have all of these great <laughs> opportunities as well. But going over to the Nats and seeing their facility and seeing their program and seeing what they were doing was just awesome. And again, when you're dealing with a student, you never know what kind of student you're going to get. You don't know if you're going to get a student that wants to be here or doesn't want to be here. But the best part about being at the Nats is I ended up with a lot of boys in my class. And what mm -hmm. boys don't understand at that age is that stepping is a male dominated dance form but boys just hear dance and they think of girls and girls are just a little bit more willing to try when it comes to dance so all of the girls were excited and all the boys were like I don't want to I don't want to do this right so of course they had to participate but at the end of the day the boys were better at it than the girls mm. and I hope that they realize that you know it's okay to let your body move it's an okay thing to do and it also can be a masculine thing. You don't have to feel like I'm too cool in front of my friends or anything like that. So it was great to see the growth in the boys and to see them um, really understanding what rhythms are and understanding that it can be a male thing to do. So I really appreciated uh, being there because I haven't had that much opportunity to work with boys since I've been doing after school programs. Because usually when it comes to dance, all the girls show up. So it was great to have boys, especially at that age. I think they were probably between eight and 10. And so a lot of boys also don't get a lot of movement that early. Usually when boys uh, do finally get into something, it's by the time they're in high school. And, you know, boys are a little different when it comes to dance because they have a little more strength in certain areas. So they can usually catch on if they want to go be prima ballerinas starting at 14, they can usually do that. Mm -hmm. But just imagine what could happen in some of these boys' lives if they started dancing and moving to rhythms a little earlier. So I really appreciated being able to work with students of that age at the Nats. That's great. Well, it's... I'm sure, and it sounds like it's not your first time at the rodeo, kind of talking to boys about dance, and it's very clear that it's not your first time at any of the rodeos when it comes to dance, and you've been a great partner, and so we really appreciate that, and we will continue doing that. Well, thank you so much. I have enjoyed working with Flex, and I can't wait to see where you guys go. I remember meeting you, I, yeah. I don't even know how many years ago it was now, maybe four? <laughs> we were a bit younger, but you know, yeah. still look good. A few years ago, but I mean, I think it's great. I'm so glad that you guys continue Thank to grow you. and continue to keep uh, me informed of everything. I love my relationship with Judy. She and I are on that email all the time. Yeah. <laughs> making yes. things happen, And my instructors enjoy it. And we just look forward to how this partnership can continue to grow. We're all just rock stars, you know? What are you going <laughs> to do? Yeah. But we, we really do appreciate and keep up the great work.